Hi everyone, welcome to I Speak English. My name's Hayley and I'm an English as a foreign language teacher. I've been teaching online for the past three years and I'm here to show you how to work Pear Deck from a student's point of view. So let's take a look at Pear Deck then. So Pear Deck is an extension for Google Chrome and what it does is it lets your teacher do interactive presentations with you. So if they've created a presentation and then they're sharing it with you during a lesson or for your homework, you'll be able to interact with the presentation and give answers to questions online. You'll be able to type those answers and your teacher will be able to see your responses. But in order for your teacher to be able to share this with you, you need this extension. So to download an extension, all you need to do is type the name of the extension. So this one is Pear Deck and then put extension. Google search it and it will come up here on your Google Chrome and then click to go to the web store and then hit add to Chrome. Okay, and then that will come up in your apps and you've got it there. So now, once you have your Pear Deck app, what's going to happen is your teacher might give you a presentation to look at or maybe they might even share a presentation with you in a Google Meet in a live classroom. So what they're going to do is, this is my teacher view, so they're going to start a lesson, okay? So you won't be able to see any of this happening. Your teacher's just going to do this on their own. Okay, so what's going to happen is, if your teacher wants to share an interactive presentation with you, either they're going to send you a link, or they're going to send you to this website and give you this code. So let's say I've sent you a link or I've put a link on Google Classroom and you have to go to that link. So let's take a look from your point of view. Now you're going to click this link or you're going to copy and paste it. And that will add you into the presentation. Now it's going to come up, it's going to show like this. You don't have to do this, you can just skip it. And basically it's going to show you what your teacher has on their screen. Okay, so you'll only be able to see this. And then your teacher is going to start the class. So every time your teacher goes through another slide, it's going to change on your side as well. So if we make these into separate windows here. Okay, so this is my teacher side on the left and this is your side on the right. So every time the teacher goes through a slide, it's going to come up for you a bit differently. So you're going to be able to answer a question to this. So if I make this full screen, this is what your screen is going to look like now. And you have to answer this question. So let's say we're doing um, story writing. So when you write a story, you need to ask yourself five words, which are who, where, what, why, and when. So you can enter that response there. Okay, so now let's go back. So now your teacher is going to be able to see your responses. And they're going to be able to see the responses of everyone else in the class. Okay, so they're going to keep going through the presentation. And they're going to be teaching as you go. So every time down here it says answer question, you can click on it. And then you can answer the question that's been asked. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so maybe there might be a multiple choice question. So choose which words are wow words. So we know that wow words are really interesting adjectives or verbs or adverbs. So it's going to be this one. Okay, and then again, so your teacher can now see your responses. You won't be able to see your teacher's slide. You're just going to be able to see the, your own slide. Okay, so we're going to keep going through and they're going to ask some multiple choice questions. Okay, and then maybe they might ask you to draw something as well. So you can just draw, uh, let's draw a mountain on here. Do, do, do. It's my terrible mountain. And you can type some text. Okay, let's add some more text. Okay, you can add lines if you want. 
or you can make things different colors. You can even make everything bigger or smaller. And you can highlight things as well if you want. So let's say you're done. And again, your teacher can see any responses that you've done. And they'll just keep going through until they've finished their presentation. So you don't have to do anything. All you have to worry about is this code or the link. If you get the code, for example, I'll show you now. So let's say I start a new lesson here. I'm the teacher. And let's just open a new window for you, the student, as well. Okay, so let's say I send you here to this website. So you're just going to go there. And then you just ask to enter the code, which is going to be this. Again, you're going to have this information on your Google Classroom. You shouldn't have to ask for it. I'm going to copy and paste. And again, it will open up the presentation like it did before. OK, there we go. Uh, so that's everything for Pear Deck. If you're watching this on YouTube and you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, or you can go to your teacher and ask a question too. So that's everything, and I'll see you in another video.